Is there anyone here struggling with drugs of any kind? Come on, now, there's a chance to be open and honest before the Lord. The devil's saying, be quiet. The devil's saying, don't embarrass yourself. Don't raise your hand, they're going to talk about you. But anyone here struggling with any type of drugs, marijuana, crack, heroin, anything at all, would you raise your hand? Let's embarrass them. Description drugs, and yeah, what are you struggling with? Anyone here? Anyone here struggling with alcoholism? Now I know the Spirit of God is speaking through me. I know that. But you got to be willing to be open and honest if you want deliverance. What about cigarettes? What about pornographic? I saw the hand. And God saw the hand. What about pornographic? Pornography? Anybody? Don't let the devil tell you that you don't need to do this. It's not going to make a difference. I don't believe that. I believe our confession saying, I need help. God will respond. Adultery, fornication. You know there's a difference, you know, between adultery and fornication. Anybody struggling with you? With that? Yes, my Eyes closed for just a minute. All heads are bowed, all eyes are Nobody's looking at anybody else. Now, I named something a minute ago. With all hands bowed, all eyes are closed. The hit home with you. I want you to do something for me. I want you to just wave your hand quickly. Just wave your hand quickly. Thank you. I see the hands. And God sees the hands too. God sees the hands. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Because I know the Spirit of God is saying, if you want deliverance, you got to be willing to expose yourself. You can't stay like you are. You got to want change. You got to want the change. I believe God wants to change everybody in here. I believe God wants to look down on us and say, These are my people. Would you call by my name? Father, in the name of Jesus, right now. Hands stretched out this way. Stretch your hands toward me. Like your Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray for your people in this place right now. This place called CRC. I pray, God, for the leadership you place here. Oh, God, that you continue, Lord, to equip the hands of them. In the name of Jesus. God, I pray that you continue to deal with their minds and their hearts. That they won't, they won't get uh, uh, distracted by the weight of the ministry. They got to be able to stand like they uh, were taking the things in hard and tough. Oh, Father, they'll seek you daily. No matter how they feel or what they're going through themselves. And Lord, I pray that you'll put a special anointing on them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I will speak to their hearts. I will cause them in the middle of the night sometimes to get up, to get on their knees and seek your face. And Lord, when they feel like they have nothing going, everything is seemingly going another way, that you'll encourage them, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, you'll bind them like they've never been bound before. In love, in unity, in light mindedness. They gotta pray for everyone here in this place. Those that raised their hands. Those that said, I need, I need a change in my life. I'm tired of the, uh, 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 of the marijuana. I'm tired of the, of the cigarettes. I'm tired of the, of the alcohol. I want to turn it around. I speak right now, Lord. Deliverance, Deliverance. in their lives. Right I speak, Father, a breakthrough. Oh, yes, God. Yeah. In Jesus' mighty name. I speak God to set them free. Right there. In Jesus' name. Lord, that we won't leave you like you came in. That's something that was said today. Remind us of 
of the clutter we have in our lives and we want to get it right. The husbands will love their wives even more. The, the wives will love their husbands even more. Realize we can't do it alone. We need each other. We bring our protection all by young folks in this place. God, that you'll save them in the name of Jesus. We deliver. Let that be an example to those around me. I pray the name of Jesus. And I thank you, Father. I believe by faith that it is done. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Be glorified. In this lesson, Father, I'd like to do this, Father. In this holy end right here. In this holy end, I pray God for the staff. I pray God for everyone that has a part in the functioning and operation of this place here, this hotel. May God you allow them to prosper and grow financially. Just because they open their doors to this fellowship. To this ministry. God, because they open their doors, we ask you for a double blessing. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And they'll never go lacking. So the doors will always be open. In Jesus' name. And Father, we, just, we, we ask you, God, that you move speedily on behalf of the body of Christ. Too many are falling away. Too many are growing weary. Make it just for me. Oh, Father. Help us, Lord. Because we know you're soon to come. We thank you. In Jesus' name. Now, wait a minute. I want to do this before we sit down. Is there anyone here? You don't know the Lord as your personal Savior. You don't know Jesus as Lord. But you want to get to know him. I want you to come. I welcome you to come. I would love to pray for you. And lay hands on you. Oh, what does that mean, Apostle? Does that mean that I'm going to lay out and speak in tongues? I don't know. But I know this. That when you make that confession, that the Holy Spirit will come into your heart. God will save you. What he does from there is up to him. It's up to him. You may speak in tongues. You may prophesy. That's up to him. But I believe our job is to make sure you have an opportunity before you leave here today. And all it takes is just a few words. The Bible says, why? How can you escape so great a salvation? It may not come as easy tomorrow as it's coming right now for you to be able to confess your life. You're like the Christ. Because things are suddenly something can change any minute. But if you just want to restore, if you just want to rededicate, would you come? Apostle, would you pray for me? I want to get, I want to rededicate my life to Christ. I would love to pray for you. Apostle, I'm not sure if I'm saved or not. Would you pray for me? I would love to pray for you. Apostle, just in case, would you pray for me? I would love to pray for you. Because I believe there's power in prayer. So, Father, right now, in this place, I bless everyone here. Now, pray, Lord, let the conviction of the Holy Spirit arrest, rule, and abide. And everyone in this place right now, in Jesus' name, their lives will never be the same. That when they find themselves pushed against the wall, they'll sense you in your presence in their lives. I pray. And I thank you. And I give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name. 
Amen. 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 God bless you. Thank you.